Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bar Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bar Hashem Rukha Kudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, enabling them word and doctrine. And shalom, meaning peace. May that be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. For I am here with the brothers Iwab, Azan, Bayath, and Mashabah. And we're going to go into some scriptures, Lord willing. We're going to start with this one, Romans 5 and 2. And yeah, just jump in when you're ready, brothers. If you've got scriptures. Romans 5 and 2. I'll start at 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with Yahweh through our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. By Him also we have access by faith into this grace when we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So by grace and justified by faith and not the works of the law. As many Israelites talk about, like the brother posted to the chat, you know, how would you respond to this? Someone said, you know, if I keep all the laws, statutes and commandments, da -da -da -da, well, first and foremost, you're not. It's impossible in this flesh, in this time, in this place, to be keeping all the laws, statutes and commandments. Okay, and, and there's only one man that's done that in history, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Right, so whoever's there with the scripture, go ahead. Um, this is the book of Hebrews, the form, verse 2. For unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them. But the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. So just breaking that down bit by bit. <clears throat> You know, because, it, because individuals such as these, these people who go off in these other camps, their doctrine, you know, they, they do, because, you know, people mention people at like WFI or whatever, HOI, HODC, they do serve the Lord, but deceitfully they go off. And the true faith, and the faith knowing the 100% truth is not mixed with them for even for them to even, you know, get um, be able to have the spirit of prophecy, you know. So to break down the prophecies, 100%, which is a testimony of Yahweh. So this word does, does not profit everybody, man. This word being preached is not actually profit everyone. It's not for the whole nation. And honestly, because it's not being mixed with faith. Because as the scripture said, you know, uh, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. And I have another precept, uh, Hebrews 11 and 6. It reads, uh, Without faith, it is impossible to please him. But he that cometh to the most high must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder. Um, he, is a re uh, he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. That's how you show true faith. You diligently seek the most high. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai through the scriptures, going through the, through the scriptures daily to actually um, examine the doctrine, to establish the doctrine in truth. All right. You know how it says in the Apocrypha, Oh, I'll get out real quick. Right, you must can interfere whenever you want after oh, this. Okay, okay. Ecclesiasticus well, chapter got... 16. Oh. But uh, real quick, Ecclesiasticus 16 and 25. I will shew forth doctrine in weight and declare his knowledge exactly. And that's mm -hmm. what, why you need to diligently search the scriptures to have the exact doctrine. That's by listening to the teachers, of course, as a reason in Isaiah 13, 20, Isaiah 13, 20. My eyes will see, shall see our teachers. You are scripture, Masha. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I thought you were saying why are you getting that. I suppose go ahead. But Acts two and forty six, and they continuing daily with one accord in the temple, and breaking bread from house to house, and did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart, praising Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh and having favor, favor with all the people, and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved, and also one more. On topic of daily mm. right, Acts 5 Acts. and okay. 42 and daily in the temple and in every house they cease not ceased not to teach and preach Yahweh Shai HaMashiach mm. and does any other brother have a scripture? Japan, I've got uh, well, not, uh, I've got a scripture uh, not um, you not you so lucky I've got Second anyway. Corinthians chapter yep. 12 verse 9 and he said unto me my grace is sufficient for thee for my strength is made perfect in weakness, most gladly. Therefore will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Hamashiach 
may rest upon me. Beautiful. Well, but I really have no rest him. You can go ahead. Therefore, therefore, I take pleasures in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distress for Yahweh's sake. When I am weak, then I am strong. Yeah. And what does it say? It says, the Lord chose the weak things of this world, so called, to confound the strong. Or rather, con- sorry, the, the, the base to confound the wise. wise. Yeah. yeah, confound the wise. And the weak things to basically tear down, paraphrasing, that which is strong. Because, you know, like the brother Hapak was saying, uh, E is positioning himself as he's the top, you know, he's the top power. So it's going to be a mighty thing to watch him fall. Yeah. Any other brothers have a scripture? I just want to make sure everyone's got a, at least one scripture to be able to speak on, and then we'll get into sort of flowing more fluidly. So that's okay. Yeah, I'm good. Ephesians 2 and 8, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Perfect, the water. So nothing that you, you've done, you yeah, keeping the works of the law, it's going to be a look. Yeah, this is what I do. Because ultimately, did any of you keep? Uh, he that is guilty in one part is what? Guilty in all. There you are. Right. Guilty in all. There's nothing that you can do in the in the flesh. Filthy rags into our it works. Yeah, our righteousnesses are like the filthy rags. When you go into that, really, uh, you're a Binyam Yanite. Really, that goes back to a blood clot. Yeah, it goes <laughs> oh, into yeah. a menstruous rug. A menstruous rug. That's how filthy our righteousness is looked upon. So it's really the blood of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach that's imputed yeah, it's through our faith. The water of Brother Mashabah. Brother Mike, do you have a scripture? I want to bring out a scripture because while I was listening, I looked into some, right? So Acts 17 and 11. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica. In that they received the word with all readiness of mind. They were hasty, they were ready to get into it, they were persuaded already. And search the scriptures daily whether those things were so. Now I want to go to the word for noble in Greek because when I go to, when I went to the word, the word is the Strong's G two one zero four and the word is Eugenes. Eugenes. Which I, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, it reminds me of eugenics. So I, I I held on it, I looked at the definition, it says well born of a noble family, noble-minded. Okay, so then I went to the, at the online, looked at the word eugenics, and it reads, doctrine of progress and evolution of the human race, race, culture, you know, and then it says 1883, coined along with the adjective eugenic. That's, that's a newer, you know, that's a newer definition. But when you go and keep reading, it says from Greek, eugenis, which means well-born, of good stock, of noble race. Because you means good, and genos means birth, right? So again, yeah, you you know, again the word is eugenes, okay? And genome, genome is, is a word that's rooted in this word, okay? So if men appearing in public, you made finished. I mean, that's what uh, genome means, to become into existence, okay? And this is translated to be made, to come to pass. But really, I just thought I'd just touch into that, even though it's not exactly relevant to the topic. I thought I'd just bring it out as I just read it to show you that, you know, the more you look into these words, the more you understand what kind of stuff Esau puts out there. And that's searching diligently, man, because that's in the scriptures, in the word, and that goes into secular things that make you have a more vast understanding of the scriptures. So, always, you know, always keep looking at words. That was literally it. That was literally it. I was just going to say, even going into certain locations, there are certain ones of, well, where's Thessalonica? And where's Corinth? All of these things. It's, it's sort of interesting to, to put in that surrounding because it gives you a better understanding of the, the thing itself. And I just, just wanted to touch on, on an etymological point, you know, that EU, U for good, that goes into EU Angelion, you know, for the good news, the gospel. We yeah, are back into, let, let me read Romans 5 and 2 again. Mm-hmm. So it says, 
starting on one. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace through Yahweh. So, peace with Yahweh through our Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of glory of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now, I was going to ask Brother Bayef to read a scripture of his holy one. Brother Bayef. Oh, your mic's muted, by the way. So, can you hear me now? Come, come. I was just saying, I just looked at uh, Romans 9 in terms of I say the truth in Christ, I lie not. My conscience also hearing me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. It's like for me, ultimately, whatever it is we seek that we have not, because obviously the whole thing about faith it's, it's for the things that we haven't seen and when I bring out the scripture in terms of Romans 9 about I say the truth in the most you know in Hamashiach I lie not my conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit it's like that's that's that faith that strong passionate belief acceptance of the fact that every single angle of this has been taken care of and that as much as we can't see with our eyes the kingdom to come is so palpable because of how much we, we, we reject this system and what it represents and for me you know recognising that the truth is in this book the holy the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Bible, you know. Like I said, I, I can't stop going back to the, the basics. Hebrews 10 and 7. Sorry. Is it Hebrews 10 and 7? Maybe we need to just... Um, or is it Romans 10 and 7? Psalm, Psalm 40 and 7 as well. Yeah. It goes, yeah, yeah, it is. Psalm, so it's Hebrews 10 and 7. Yeah. And Psalm 40 and 7. That's right. But the fact remains is that once you recognise that this book is the truth, then how can you possibly get lost? And, the, and so, so you're whole thing about faith and what you can't see. But the book is here and we can hold it. We can pick it up and we can read it. So it's real. It is a it may, it may be, it reminded me of what you said reminded me of this. Before I get this, Salaki, the two brothers just hold Psalm 47 and the other hold Hebrews 10 and 7, please. This is um, the book of John, chapter 20 and 29. It says, Yahweh shall say unto me, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are the they that have not seen and yet have believed. Oh. Oh. That's a blessing. Huh. Has anyone got that? Psalm 47. And when you say that, is it not in Matthew as well? Why do you speak in parables? Yep, yep, yep. Because to you it is given, but to them it is not given. And Baba Akrasha, Brother Azam, can you go ahead with that? Psalms 40, verse 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. Yeah, verse 8 as well, please. So lucky. I'd like. Verse 8, I delight to do thy will, O my power. Yea, the law is within my heart. I have preached the righteousness in the great congregation. No, I have not refrained my lips. O Yahweh, Shimra, Shadar, Noist. Verse 10. By the Spirit. Psalm 47. And not everything, not everything written in the Psalms was just, all right, this is for today. You know, it's just a general thing. And it's never to be touched again. Some of the psalms go deep, some of the psalms are prophetic, and some of the psalms are speaking in the spirit. You know, this book, is a, you can't just sit down and read it like a textbook. Man. It means something, it's, 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 
it's esoteric. It means some. It can mean something different on different days that you pick it up. You know what I'm saying? Certain things are revealed to you. The Most High just, you know, opens up a totally different meaning that you never yeah. expected to see. That's the esoteric. It, it, it still says the same thing, or it still means the same thing. Yeah, it's got different meanings. And you may you may not have you know, heard it, and then a brother might you might hear it being broken down. And you're like, okay, right. And when it's put in that context, you see it. You see a different thing. You see a different aspect of the same thing. Mm. Powerful. So, brother, I want to lucky. Did I interrupt you having a scripture? Yeah, it's, um, Luke chapter twelve. In verse 47, and that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. And for all those then that show the true faith, it was a mix of faith. You know, people you know, like Johanna, people like Nate, people those know that follow Sakari. They, you know, the old camp, the apostles' camp around um, September the 11th. Um, uh, an individual had there was a report that Elder Apostle Yamla brought out where four members of Sakari because members came to the apostles that they left and they, they believed that since the whole thing with Elder uh, Yashawamba uh, Sakari members one had shot himself blew his brains out one died by the thing the scene on the web what, um, p- people were just getting you know getting killed people were dying people were getting ill facing as death so these individuals they had faith in the elders and apostles of the truth and I left the group and you're going to see you know Sakari these members they're going to, you're going to see them die man and uh, people who are who are, who are going to turn their back as well people are going to take the, the MOTB oh, these guys have already taken the, the Haraks they're going to take the Haragma these I, I, you know, ISUPK bug outs Alright, so I'm reading again Luke 12 and 47 and that servant which knew his Lord's will so he knew to do these things because even though we have the Lord's written in our parts we have the laws to study and different individuals have been given uh, scriptures um, uh, sorry understanding of the scriptures as much as given unto them and if, if you're not laboring if you're not doing the work you're not studying you're not, you know, you're not studying to teach to be a minister as Yahweh Shai did, then you know you're being idle, man. If you're not searching diligently, daily. If you're not being diligent, you're not gonna you're not gonna read. What's that scripture? Is it um let me look for it. Uh what are you real quick, real quick. I won't be too long. Real quick. This is the book of Second Corinthians nine and six. Real quick, Second Corinthians nine and six, but this I say he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. You know, to reap bountifully also would stop you from getting the stripes. Or for being idle. Now it. Precept. Now I was just going to ask you to paraphrase it then. I've got Second Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Even the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them. The God of this not. world, Slaka, the God of this world, the power of this world, because the, the rulers that are ordained are of Yahweh Basham Yahshua, like it says in Romans 13 and 1. And he is being a minister, ETT. So Edom is being a minister by being the power of this world, who's blinding those that are not the elect. Keep, keep reading. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest yeah. the light of the glorious gospel of Hamashiach, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. Mm. So, the uh, God of this world, Esau Eden, is, is putting a veil over the over the people, man. Hey, you know what? And then that's then they showed that these apocalyptic movies. The revealing which goes back to what word in fact let me ask you about the revelation uh, 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 I'm going to say let me ask the brother 
That is good, man. He's too eager. Yeah, he's trying to get there too quick. That's good. Yeah, it was a big. A sharp to the sword. Mm-hmm. Now I've got a scripture. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, and that is referring to Esau Edom. It says, But the just shall live by his faith. And that's, of course, the elect, the righteous, the just. I mean, the word is going to be Yashar. Okay. But the word actually is Tazadayak, which comes from the word Tazadak, which is, for example, Melchizedek, Malak Tazadak, the king of righteousness. Okay. The just shall live by his faith. By Amawan, I believe. What is the word is Amawan and Amawan, Amawana, firmness, fidelity. Steadfastness, steadiness, readilessness. So when you say that, then I come in with um, Galatians six, six sixteen, and as many walk according to this rule, well, beautiful peace be on them, and mercy upon the Israel of the Most High. Read that again, Babakusha. Yeah, what's that? And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy, and upon the Israel of the Most High. Galatians 6, 16. What? What? Yeah, no, it's, it's because we, we used to say, no, that's a, that's a first group book, that's it, the Bible shop, what? But on, on Zoom, yeah, there's, he's, he's, technology's not that good, because it's still a delay. Yeah, so, so lucky about that. That's a beautiful scripture for water. Has anyone else got any other scriptures? Oh, uh, kind of. I can um, just um, put out a few. I'll make it quick though, because where we got on the yeah, maybe not. So well, has any, bring has out any many, other scripture? I'll bring out the main things, but Ephesians 6 and 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. So wherever the, whoever's fired at you, faith is a shield unto you. Okay, faith in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, if your brothers have any scriptures, yeah. I'll I'll one. <clears throat> Galatians five and five. For we, for we through through the Spirit, for we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Read that again, Babakusha. For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. Perfect. The hope of righteousness, what's that ultimate righteousness? What's the tough righteousness that a Jake could be desiring? Kingdom. There is the kingdom. But as none of you got a scripture. Khan, uh, James chapter 4, verse 6. But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he said, the most high resisteth the proud, but giveth grace to the humble, unto the humble. Mm. Mm. The that's, that's in the uh, first Peter as well, isn't it, Iowa? Uh, I can't, I believe it's, um, it's uh, first, first Peter, Peter five chapter five. 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 First Peter 5, 5. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourselves unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai resisted the proud and giveth grace to the humble. You know, we've got apostles, we've got elders above us. Yeah, above, what's that scripture? Above you in the Lord. It's not, I don't think it's verbatim above you, but it's that's, that's the connotation. Let me just find that real quick. This is 1 Thessalonians 5. Yeah, that's good. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 12. And we beseech you, brethren, to know them which labor among you and are over you in the Lord and, is, and admonish you. So if we ever get admonished, you know, whether by name or you hear something, you're like, shit, that's me. You, know, you, you should humble down to that, accept that and respect that. And you know, we've had apostles and elders above us for a reason. You know, to give us guidance. What does it say in Acts the eighth chapter? You know, how, do, you know, do you know what the scripture says? Well, how can I unless someone guide me? Mm. Right, so it's all perfect and we should be appreciative of that correction, not book up, up, book up against it like a bastard. Because without chastening, you are a bastard. According to Hebrews 12 and 8, I believe that is. 
But we did say we're going to try and keep this short. Has anyone got a closing out scripture? A closing out one? Or the brother, the brothers have any other? I just, I just mean, I just mean one to end it. It didn't necessarily have Can't. to be for that specific purpose. Got yeah, second go uh, chapter four, verse twenty-two. The Lord our power, Hamashiach, Kiyahu, Shai be with thy spirit. Grace be with you, Aman. Come in grace. Aman. The word in Hebrew will be fun, which means favor. That's what grace goes into. And let, let the, yep. the one who out, the Lord has favor and grace upon us that we can um, go through these things. Remember that the way we get to the kingdom of peace and nothing but joy is through enduring hardships. In fact, Babakashah, let me get the last scripture. Yeah. And it also goes into that word, um, Chana, if I'm not mistaken, grace. Uh, like um, um, Jonathan. Oh, yeah. Oh, Yachan. Yeah. Yachan. Yeah. Yachan. Yeah, he is gracious. So, um, yeah, you can't. Yeah. Second Timothy right. two and three. Uh, thou therefore in Johannes as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And I believe this word in Greek, kako patheo. Yeah, kako patheo. It's one word. In Johannes is one word. It says to suffer in parenthesis endure evils in parenthesis hardships and troubles. So in other words, to suffer evils would also mean to be more clear endure, right? And go through it and you know, enjoy having show the endurance of the battle, to endure hardships and troubles that come upon you, afflictions that come to you, endure it and be purified in the fire. This is to be afflicted. So, yeah. that's that's yeah. something that we always have to remember that has to happen before, um, you know, before we go into the kingdom. Then, then of course, the, and I'll the, get one, one more. So I can... Go ahead, go well, ahead. This is, um, what were you gonna say? No, I was gonna bring. Bring one more, then I'll bring my last one. All right, we're going to have to keep it short. We can't get into any more words after that. Yeah. Acts 14 and 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh What if that? That's a perfect name. Please ask us 43 and 30. When ye glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as ye can. But even yet will he far exceed. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength and be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. Okay. With well, that, uh, I'm, give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rochab to Dash. To double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and labor in this word of doctrine. Shalom, Barakath, La Bahayar, La Gawiyah, Yashurada meaning peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel. Mawath Lababab, the one.